Welcome. Happy Wednesday. This is Let's Talk Bron Broncos. Bree Mace to Zach Seegers, Joey Richards. I always point to the wrong boxes. Uh, refer to them as you will. Uh, we're in today. Uh, I'm, I battled a horrific case of uh, food poisoning uh, and I'm surviving. I'm here to stay. Nobody can take me out. Not even bad shrimp. Joey, how are you? I'm doing great. Bree, we don't want to hear the crazy stories. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear the viewers leaving right now as you uh, <laughs> mentioned that. Um, <clears throat> that apparently, so Zach heard all about it. I missed that episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's been crazy. I'm excited for the pod. I'm excited to think about Broncos uniforms. Would be the coolest. Kind of, kind of light after multiple uh, mock drafts where Zach just took over. Uh, <laughs> last episode, Bree, you missed it. I, I was ready to like discuss the prospects on the board, and Zach just decided to select a player. I thought he was <laughs> saying to take JJ McCarthy. I misunderstood. No, Zach, Zach thinks he's George Payton and Sean Payton. He's just Payton. Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> there was no GM ownership, but uh, by part, there's no voting. It was just a veto. I get it. I get it. I've worked with Zach before. I know how he rolls. Zach, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I mean, fucking catching strays right <laughs> off the bat. I mean, th this is crazy. Uh, but good to be on. Glad to see you guys. Uh, th thrown for a loop because I had to hear a uh, free shrimp story. Um, <laughs> but I'm doing well. I'm doing well overall, and I'm excited to be here uh, talking with you people. That's what you sign up for as my friend. And we know this. This is a circle of trust. We've been friends. We're not just podcast hosts. We are, we know, we know lots about each other's lives. And listen, I just told you I got a little queasy from some shrimp, but I may have given Zach some details just because we're cool like that. Uh Lucy's joined the program as well. Um, I told her all about the shrimp too. And she's gonna help us grade out these Denver Broncos uniform designs because as we know on April 22nd, three days before the draft, we're going to get our first view of what the Denver Broncos have done with their redesign. In the 90s, they came out with the parentheses, new design, and per team president Damani Leach, they've gone a whole new uh, redesign of the uniform. Now I, I, I've had this conversation before. It's not like it's a rehaul. It's not like everything's going to be completely different, but we have received some hints as to what they might look like. Um, and we have also been told that none of the mock-ups really do it justice. So we're going to kind of waffle through a lot of the, the images here. If we didn't credit your design by chance, please let us know. We'll fix that in the description, et cetera, et cetera. But we're going to get into this and hopefully there's a lot of arguing going along because I don't think I'm happy with any of them. But let's get started. We're going to throw a couple of them on screen uh, at a time. We're just going to discuss them. And if you are in the comments right now and you disagree with us or you have a, a wild hot take that you want to get heard, please feel free uh, to do so. But let's jump into it. Get ready with uh, one and two. Um, I'm going to start with this one from Reddit. Uh, oh, and Nick Beckwith. Yes, I, I want to thank you, Nick, because that just came down the pike um, a couple of moments ago with the, uh, the ruling that NFL teams now can have three helmet designs, um, and that's going to be the new norm uh, moving forward. He says, Snowcap Navy and Royal Blue OG. Is that what you would like to see, Nick? Because I think I think that's a, a pretty good assumption of what's going to happen. We obviously see the white helmet on display here, a little bit of Snowcap uh, Mountains, number 24 for Champ Bailey. Uh, in person, and I'll show you what it looks like in the mock-up from the graphic god. I know a lot of people hate this. Uh, I know Zach likes the white helmet idea moving forward. I don't, I don't hate the snow capped mountains, um, but I could see where that would be an issue for everyone is being a little too kitschy. How do you guys feel about this one? Uh, I, I, like it. I like it. I think it's cool. I, I don't mind this one at all. I think it's modern. It's new. Um, it, it's not the throwbacks. The throwbacks are obviously the best one. The, the mock-ups that we've seen, we'll get to those later. Like, it's not even close. <clears throat> but out of the newer-looking ones I've seen, I think this is maybe the best one. I don't mind it at all. I like this. I just I, – I don't want the white helmet to be the primary, and that's why I think this three-helmet rule news is fantastic. Um, we have the Royal Blue confirmed. It was kind of like, are they going to chew? Is it going to be the Navy or the white as the main helmet? 
I think it's if, if I had to bet, um, and maybe it's my heart leading me this way, but I truly believe it's going to be the Navy blue primary. And I think we're going to see the snow capped look return as like their alternate. I think that'll be the new all Navy kind of like will be their all white. That might be their new alternate. And then they'll have the throwback. We know that's coming. Um, that's my one issue with this. I just think the white helmet when it's not the snow capped, I don't know, the snow capped look or an all white thing. It's just a little funky to me. That'd be my one complaint. I think they did a good job with the mountains, though, making the mountains not look too goofy. So this yeah, looks don't... weird to you? Brie, does this look weird to you? The white so, pants with white helmet? The white pants with white helmets, and I think the graphic got did a really great job of painting the picture here to where it doesn't look too goofy because yeah. you do have the helmet and the pants taking up the other thirds of the graphic. So I think that's a that's a kudos to the graphic god for for the mock up that he did to where it doesn't look goofy. But I do understand Zach's thought of if it's an elongated version where you see the full get up and you know they're wearing white cleats and socks and etc. That it could be a little too much white, which is the pop of orange, which I'm not a fan of if we're going to do orange do orange all the way but if it's the iced out white out all of the all of the white jersey then i think it would be a different story so i'm kind of in the middle there i think this graphic looks really good and i think that lends itself to the design to make it look less cheap because when you see it here in just the mock-up there's a sense of like it feels a little CFL. It feels a little arena football league, which I think that I'm trending away from. Um, uh, uh, C-Rat, Crad over here. I don't like the white helmet with mostly white logo. That's what it is for me. It's like, I'm worried from afar, you know, cause it's like TV broadcast is how we're mainly going to see it. I'm worried from afar. It's just going to look like the main, like that's all we're going to see. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's true because the Navy also contrasts the white. Well, um, uh, it might just be a little bit old man, uh, whatever. <laughs> like I don't like change in this case. Uh, generally I do, but I don't want to see this change personally. Um, right. I, I can't come up with a great justification beyond the, the prime prominently white at, logo on a uh, uh, prominent uh, pro oh goodness predominantly white helmet I, I think it's too much so there yes, I see me. the argument I see the argument with white helmet with the primarily white logo but one thing I don't think we can deny is that, that there's some pretty sick white helmets in the league like yeah the chargers helmets are white and they look fantastic with their uniforms um I think the Cardinals white helmets look good I think the Bills white helmets look good I think I think there are some good white helmets in the NFL. I would fully agree, but the bills have a logo that's almost fully colored. Uh, uh, same goes for uh, the chargers. Like it's the colored lightning bolt. It can be different colors. If the Broncos went back to the vintage uh, D logo, you know, like they did for the snow cap this year, like that works because that's a, a logo that's not predominantly white. Um, so it, it, it just contrasts better. I think that's, that's my biggest thing with it. Biggest okay. Part. So we have to grade this one out. I'm going to say a, uh, a letter grade scale, the obvious, uh, F to a plus, but, um, before that, I, I like that rationalization, but I think and and forgive me if we're wrong, are they are they keeping the orange crush throwbacks? Or do you think they're going to unveil the pre-super or the yeah, the pre-Super Bowl jerseys, the old school D logo with the Robin's egg blue and the and the orange versions that you all like? That's what they're going to revert back to. Is that not what we're thinking? Or do you guys think that they're going to maintain the orange crush? My sourcing is somewhat limited, not being on the beat anymore, but the sourcing that I have uh, is that the, the, the Robin Blue uh, is confirmed. That's going to be their, like, it seems like the NFL is trending towards maybe this throwback Thursday idea or something like that. I think it's very clear to see the positive reception to every single throwback they announce, whether it be um, the Seahawks or the, the Kelly Green Eagles. 
um, or the even like the Bucks, I think, have a fairly positive reaction to their hideous uniforms. Oh, um, I like the creamsicles. But, I mean, they're fun. I like them, too. But generally, I feel like uh, uh, they're despised. But it's awesome when they go back. I think they look better now than they used to look. Um, so I don't know. The reception is so positive. I think they're going to keep that going. Uh, and the Broncos 70s deal will harken back to that. Okay, let's grade it out, Joey. I'm gonna hit you up first. What do you What do you give in this one? I give it a B. I think it's I, I like it more than our current uniforms. I, I do. I think I could see the Broncos rock this one right here, and I'd be happy with it. I like the white helmet. Now the white on white thing could be scary, but from the look of it on this picture, it's not an issue for me. That and that's what I'm grading it off of. Now I, I would have to see it, you know, from a distance on TV. It's a film shot uh, that could change. That could change my opinion. But from this right here, I really like it. I like the white pants. I like uh, matching with the, with the white helmet. And then I could also imagine the Broncos going a white out version of this. Obviously, they're away uniform, and it would look dope. So the, I'm I, I, I'm giving this a B. B. Yeah, I, I think the block numbers are nice. Um, I think making the mountains not look terrible uh, is a challenge, um, and, and they did it pretty well. Um, yeah, I just the, the white helmet is the one issue for me with that logo. B. When I look at this, and I'm again, I, this is a true testament to the creator of this graphic that it looks really good in this form. It's not appalling like when you look at this you go oh the mountain caps that looks absolutely ridiculous and then you see it here and you're like okay less ridiculous but i'm still giving it a minute to see uh just on average the person who made the graphic i'd give the graphic like a b plus a minus yeah. um a plus you know like just for making it look that good I, I think that it definitely bumps it up love the block lettering i like the way that this is centered and everything i don't have that much problem with the white although i'm an orange gal all orange all the time um but yeah, at the end of the day, I'm giving it a C. I don't like the mountains being all in my face. It just feels very, uh, I don't know, like it, it, they, they're they asking for you to look directly at it. And I just, I don't love the idea of it. Let's move on. We're going to hit up the uh, second one here. Um, we're going to get into, I believe, Garrett Beatty. Uh, has done this mock-up. The the navy is super dark. I'm not against it, but it's almost too dark. It's a Houston te Texans, even darker blue, that oh it's God. almost black. I like it. I would be a fan of it, but it really does steal away from the navy, the robin's egg blue, the orange and blue, because right here almost looks a little too... We're looking at Bengals. We're looking at Browns. If you darken that orange a little too much, you lose the Broncos color scheme. That that Pantone that they've worked so hard to achieve goes away here. I think that's why I'm mostly against this version. Uh, again, you can see almost a Chargers-like uh, mountain peak on here with where the blue falls, um, although I think it is nice and subtle on the white. I don't hate it there. And I think the white is the best version from this group. Um, and then the orange again kind of falls into the one that we've seen previously. I just want to refer back to it just a little bit and then come back here. Um, pretty, pretty uh, identical here. And I don't see the topography on this, this mock-up that we've seen. I think this was prior to those hints being dropped. Again, I don't know how much I buy into that. Uh, guys, how do you, how do you feel about this one? I'm hoping that Zach's talking. I'm so annoyed needed. with you guys. Um, okay. So uh, <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, I, I think the whiteout is the best one. We were talking about it in our uh, LTV group chat um, that like you, you can't have the white mountains on the white uniform. Uh, that, that was an opinion you guys had, but uh, so I think it was, Jason and Jacob were saying that I fully disagree. I think you need the white on white because if it was navy or orange, I think no they would crazy. really uh, stand out. Maybe you could get away with orange, but uh, yeah, I think that looks nice. The white, the all white one, I think is definitely the best one. Um, I think the one on the left works really well too. My only issue again is like the the white helmet, and then the one on the right, I kind of like the darker navy. I think it's like that would be a cool update on the all Navy look that they currently, you know, go to on occasion. Um, 
maybe you add the to, uh, topography uh, or not the, but like the texturing uh, uh, like the mountain face from the first one uh, to define it a little more, make it a little less chargery. Uh, but overall, I really like it. I, I think this one I like a little better than last. Hmm. What, like, are we going to ignore this texture on the numbers? What is our opinion on that? Are, is anyone paying attention to that? Or is that just me? There's I like a weird no, yeah, I'm old, so I can't even see the all of the numbers here. Oh, I was assuming that was like a, an attempt at dirt or mud or something like that. But I thought I that was just from Photoshop making like a texture, like accidentally. If that's true, if it's all robin's egg, yeah, I would not. Care. Um, like a like a Easter candy, I'm out, out, out hard. I see this as like I don't know if I'm just seeing this differently than you guys are seeing this. Maybe I am. On the orange and on the blue, the number looks almost metallic to me. And then I think on the blue one it is. I think on the blue one it's metallic. I think on the orange one it's not, and I don't think it is on the white one either. I think Ask. it's just the dirt effect on those. Okay. Well, if it's metallic, I hate it. Um, we're doing too much. We're doing too much. If we're gonna go metallic. It needs to be the. We need to be Oregon. We need to have a hundred uniforms, and we can throw that out every occasion. If, if we're going, we we can't do metallic for eight games a year. We can't do that. That's not okay. It's unacceptable. I won't, I won't, I won't be here for it at all. Um, I like the white. Now the issue here, Zach, shout out to Zach Seegers for mentioning the white on white. I think in this picture here, that is more of an issue. It is more of an issue. I love though, if I take the helmet away here, the white jersey with the white pants and just the orange number is dope to me. I would buy this jersey quick and fast. I think, I think me personally, the white mountains make it even cooler. Like as someone, like I, I get it. We all want to see, you know, it's a lot of it is how do the players look on the field? The NFL needs to be, or the Broncos need to be worrying about the people that are buying the uniforms. And I think this would be awesome to wear. Like if I'm sitting next to somebody, I would see those mountains. And I think that's, that's a, that's a cool effect there. Um, I might not see them on the, on the field as much, but in person, if I were standing next to it and I was wearing this Jersey, I'd notice it. So <clears throat> I think the white's really cool. Um, my take on the Navy is I've never seen them before, like this color. And I don't think the Broncos are going to change their color. Uh, I don't like it. I think that the Broncos are changing to a different shade of blue. It needs to be lighter. We need to go back to the throw, throwback ones. I'm sorry, guys. I got to interrupt. And I got to give a round of applause to Paul. Paul is a is a regular in the chat. He said, I appreciate Zach so much. He's really helped me improve my lip reading skills. I love that comment, Paul. That is the comment of the week for me. And I'm sorry, Zach. It's just too easy of a target. Um, of all the Alex people to betray me. I didn't think it'd be Paul. This is <laughs> Shout out to Paul, man. <laughs> and Alex says, YouTube says it's shag carpet, guys, and it's amazing. Stroke the furry wall. Alex also says he's going to make this a family ritual, that it, soon it will be him and his wife watching LTB together. <laughs> and I, we just appreciate you guys. Thank you for uh, watching along with us. If you have some hot takes about these jerseys or if you think we missed one that you want us to take a look at, let us know in the comments as we move on. Oh, overall grade. I'm sorry. Did you grade these? Because I'm giving it. I'm almost going a little bit lower here. I, I really think that this artist did a really great job with the Photoshop and with the representation of what they were going for. I don't think that's the issue whatsoever. So kudos, uh, Mr. Beatty, on uh, your work here. I think you did a fantastic job. So I'm not grading the mock-up in general. I'm just saying I don't think I love it. It's too dusky. It's not bright enough. It's not vibrant enough for me. Um, and that's why uh, that's why I'm out. So see. Zach, what do you think? I'm going B plus. I do like him a little better. I'll be the dissenting opinion here. Um uh and yeah, Garrett Beatty. I, I don't know if we said the whole name yet, but Garrett Beatty. And I, I in case we don't. I did at the start, Beatty. but I appreciate okay, that. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you, Garrett. I personally I'm I'm grading this below. It would be a B minus, and then I saw Robert Sala in the background, and I said, "Okay, it's a B, it's a C plus." Um, so I'm going C plus. 
C plus. <laughs> only because I saw Robert Sala in the background. It would be a B minus. Anyways, carry on. It made you just sick to your stomach like bad shrimp. I get it. I totally this understand that. It's the Hackett game. It was the Hackett game. I don't care if these were new uniforms. It gives me PTSD. <laughs> I don't like it. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. We're moving on, and we're going to give credit to Paul Lucas as we grab our next um, iteration. Uh, guys, I know this is a fan favorite. I know that people are going to come for me when I say this, but let me just get out the whole thought. Let me get like on the program. I will in some entities say that I, I don't hate the way that these look, but looking at them all season long would upset me to no end. And I get they look clean. They are uh, one of the best styles that we've seen thus far of like what could be. I like them. I just don't want to see them every single game. I, I think that it would be overdone. It's a little too blocky. I love the letter of the lettering. I love the stripe on the arm. I understand it invokes emotions of the past, but guys, that's why it's in the past. The D logo on the helmet only needs to be during the throwback game. These colors only need to be done during the, the throwback game. I hope this is the direction that they go for, for that throwback uniform for that one time that they get to wear it during the season. But I swear, if this is what we see moving forward, I won't be buying another jersey, I don't think. That's a great crazy take to me. Won't lie to you. Won't Sorry. lie to you one bit. I love these except for the blue one. That one's atrocious. That might be the worst Same. uniform we've seen um, today so far. I think the, the blue McDonald's one, vibes. straight D. It's a D for me. I don't like it. Um, terrible. <clears throat> now, let me grade the top two. The top two are crazy. These are, these are ridiculous. I would buy that white one with the blue numbers extremely fast. I think that's dope. Um, I have an Elway jersey, a throwback jersey that looks similar, but these have a different flavor to them a little bit. I am a huge fan of the white one in particular. The orange one's also cool. I love these. I love these. To me, guys, the, 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 the top two alone are like an A. Now, if I'm, I'm, I'm considering the bottom two is too much. So that would lower it to like a B plus um, if they had those in the rotation. But top top two are an A all day. Yeah, I think it's a great look. You know, it, it is different than the throwback jersey or what the Broncos used to have. It's updated uh, for the modern day. And it's simple. I think the best uniforms tend to be simple uniforms. You know, like I, I think that tends to age the best and just look the best. Um uh, I think that's why everyone is liking the throwback so much um, uh, or likes this concept so much in part. Like it's just basic and it's clean. Like uh, Bree even said it before. Uh, the blue one, I agree. That one's terrible. That Still one, awesome. I'd be very disappointed to see. Um, that one probably brings the gray down for the rest of it. I kind of get Bree's point about like if you're watching all season, maybe the orange gets to be a little much but that it's the same orange as it currently is so i think that's a problem no matter what it's I'm not the orange it. it's not the orange that it, it's it's not mm -hmm. it's not the orange at all it's and, and brown town is reading my mind over here there's a reason it's called the throwback it's a throwback uniform and so what are they going to do when it's throwback day and they they're just going to wear the old uniform and this is like it's not it's that's not true. differentiating enough. It's just, Maybe. it's the throwback uniform, but modernized. Like that's not a new uniform. That's just, I don't, I don't love it. I got to hold on one second before you go and annihilate me real quick. Yeah. Spencer Niles with a, not only one, but two uh, super chats. He super chatted back to back to say, I'm crazy. So Spencer, I appreciate you so much. Uh, I went to go hit the applause and I missed it. Thank you for spending money to call me. And that's the only time I find it even remotely acceptable. If you want to <laughs> in my mentions, you got to pay to play the game. So Spencer and I'll shouts out to you and um, Zach, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, on the live draft stream. Uh, I don't think Joey knows about this because it, it didn't involve him all, but uh Cal donated five dollars for me to text Bree the word flesh without uh, uh, any context. Um, and so I you did. You guys it. don't understand. Um, I was in the middle of a no reception area and got the messages kind of in like this weird 
uh, su- like sequence. And I was very concerned and I didn't know what was happening, but I was, I was like, I should be scared probably. Um, so thank you for that, for spending $5 wisely. <laughs> yeah. I, it, to answer brief, cause it's a good point. What do you wear on throwbacks or, or the throwback Thursday day? I'd say either the all Navy, uh, ones that everyone likes, you could throw it back to those, maybe even go back to the more like Reebok look, uh, like not the post 2013 one, uh, that like updated it a little. Um, uh, you could go, uh, the, the option two, the 75th anniversary uniforms, you pull those up on Madden. They did them in like 1967 or something too, with the big blue sleeves. You see them at the games sometimes. <laughs> It's also a fun option or the uh, brown and yellows. That's disgusting. all, all decent it. options. The brown and uh, yellow. The brown and like yellows are not decent people. options. You don't even believe what you're saying right now because it's if you not had- for me, but some people love them. It's not for me, but some people love them. All right. Yeah, okay. Can I, what do you guys think these would look like? Cause to Bree's point, you know, these have the throwback logo on them. How do these look with the modern Broncos logo on the helmet? Does it take away the essence? Does it take away the vibe we're looking for? I think if they did that, I would be, I would grade it higher. Uh, Dane Lyons is a new viewer to Ooh. the chat, or at least when oh. I've been in here. Solid design, I give it an A minus. Previous design was a C plus. The first design was a B. Dane, we appreciate you contributing, going back and being so thorough. I like, uh, I like what you're putting down, man. But I would say, um, if it had the the demon horse head logo on it, I think that would actually bring it up half a letter grade for me. I'm going B. Uh, uh, B B minus, um, because I do like, I like the vibe, the colors. Um, if it had the modern horse head on it, it would be a B for me. Leave the throwback in the past. Wear it when you need to. It's nostalgic, and we don't need to return to it. Um, carry on, grade it out. I'm going an A minus. I I think Bree raises a good point about the uh, uh, or I, or I disagree with Bree. Joey raises a good point on the um, uh, uh, helmet though, um, the, the, but I just disagree with your stance on it, Bree. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to throw you under the bus there. But uh, yeah. I just because we know that the helmet is staying the same, I don't. I'd feel so weird if they go back to kind of like the 1970s style design with um the new or like keeping the same helmet i i don't know it just i wonder if it would clash or feel a little weird uh the other reason is the the one on the bottom i don't know it just it bugs me a minus i told you if this blue one's included it's a c if we can get rid of the blue one and the orange one it's an a i don't ever want to see the broncos wear this blue one right here this is despicable um whoever designed this we need to delete this from the internet immediately i like the top two these are the two best ones in my opinion of any of them top two are an a if i include this blue one it's like a c Leave Paul Lucas alone. He did a good job. Um, Dal also just gave me the best idea and the worst idea ever. Give me that blue color because Lucifer would be the only acceptable logo redesign. I love it. If I, I if anybody has any sourcing on a Lucifer Broncos jersey, you know, with that feeling of it, send it my way because that's the probably the only jersey I'm going to be buying for some time. Strez said too much like Boise State. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think that that's, that's pretty spot on for the color choices that we have going on here. Um, oh, is this one Boggins? I, I, I screwed up that, uh, that, that, uh, attribution. Yeah. Okay. Shout out Boggins. Shout out, shout out Boggins. Uh, Strauss, what's up party people? I don't know, man, just watching your TikToks all the time, my dude. Uh, it feels like that is all that I ever see when I go on my FYP. So shout out to you. Not Thanks to for you. coming in, stopping by, and uh, sharing all the work that you got going on. Um, all right, let's go. Uh, oh, this one's going to be another one where people are going to fight me on this, but that's okay. No, 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 this helps. This helps the, the realization, except for the logo looks like it's oh, for uh, the UFL. Um, so. Uh, a little cartoony. Um, I think I've lost my place in where and who did this. I, this might be John Benson. Zach, correct me if I'm wrong. 
This one's Paul Lucas. Sorry. This I, one's I, Paul Lucas. The numbers correspond to the, the unnamed ones. Two of them have names at the bottom. <laughs> oh, uh, Zach sent me a cheat sheet and he did it to set me up for Sabatois. So it's all good. We're going to get into this one. Um, I don't really like it. It looks like it's for like a graphic for a video game that has no uh, assumption with That's any league in itself. Um, it looks like maybe one of those bubblegum helmets you get out of the machines, uh, a made up team that doesn't necessarily exist. I think the edit is cool. So shouts out um, to maybe Paul Lucas <laughs> for your work here. I don't I don't think that you did a bad job doing this. I just I don't like it. I don't think it looks bad. And I'm going to already give it a grade of a like a D minus. If I saw this, I'd be very, very, very sad. I think this logo is terrible. I hate it. Um, <clears throat> I would be very disappointed if the Broncos changed their logo to this. I think it's not good. Uh, it wouldn't be good. Like, I can't imagine. Okay, because this is what we also have to consider, right? This logo isn't just on the uniform. It's now on my hoodie. It's now on my hat. <laughs> It's I like I might have to wear this logo on some sweatpants. No, we can't. It's a no for me. Um, <clears throat> I like... I like the colors that they're going for here, but the jerseys themselves, not a fan of. I think Bree hit the nail on the head. It reminds me of like one of those football apps you download where you're playing with random people that never existed. And this yeah. is one of those teams uh, right here. That's one of them. These are the Denver horses or something like that. <laughs> I, I've, I'm good. Yeah, I think the main uh, is like less horse and more dinosaur you know, or like dragon or something. Uh, that's one problem. I also feel like the horse itself with the texturing they added, I feel like it just kind of makes it look more phallic than anything. Um, and the uniform itself is bad. We've seen a few comments that are like, this one looks like Boise State. This one looks like Boise State. For uh, uh, past ones we add up, this one to me looks like uh, uh, Boise State. Um, or like Blue Mountain State even, or something. Like they look... Uh, bad orange and blue i would hate these if these are the uniforms uh it's it's time it's time uh to uh storm the complex uh, yeah uh dow says pretty sure this is a uni from nfl blitz <laughs> i agree i think you're spot on with that but jeremy <laughs> paria uh, over on youtube summarizes exactly what I've been trying to say, um, but in a more official term. The focus group involved in the uniform redesign process stated that the royal blue and orange was too collegiate and reminiscent of Florida and Boise State. If that's true, if that's a direct pull from, from that information, that is exactly what I've been trying to say. I don't love it. It's not the Broncos. Um, quit trying to make fetch happen, y'all. It's, it's not going to happen. Um, stress says this is the Benver Broncos. I appreciate that one as well. I am simple, simple minded. Uh, you guys give, did you guys give a great a letter grade for those? This is a, you know, this is a D I hate it. Anyway, Zach, what do you think? Yeah. Um, this is a, this is a, honestly, there's not a thing I like about it. I think I like the vertical <laughs> But I, this would be an F for me. I hate to say it. I think he's a very uh, talented artist at Photoshop, but I just, this is not my taste at all. Um, that's, that's an F for me. Um, I would respond on the collegiate thing. It's collegiate because there's like 50 teams in the NFL using Navy, clearly hi hyperbolic. Uh, I think it's like eight though. Um, and there's 126 college programs in division one. So yeah. of course there's going to be more colors that are that college teams have that NFL teams don't. There's also teams with royal blue. So I just I disagree. I I don't know. I have a question. <laughs> Who was first? Was it the Boise State Broncos that decided to be orange and blue first, or the Denver Broncos that decided to be orange and blue first? I mean, who screwed that up? And <laughs> it, okay, my argument against the collegiate thing too. My core argument, outside of it looking better, in my opinion, uh, if we want to get to like. I don't know, logical arguments that are beyond how it looks like, Oh, it's, it's too collegiate or something like that. Uh, they went with orange and blue originally to mirror uh, the Colorado sunsets and sky. And the sky is a lot more Royal blue than it is Navy blue. That's oh the, God. is that true? Yes. Mm. 
Think about it when it gets dark outside and it's the end of the sunset and the sun is dropping over the mountains. It's dark blue. So yeah, see, that's one of those here stories. with that weird nonsense. It's the, definitely dark. That's one of those stories that someone decided to make up 20 years after they made the jerseys. Why I don't believe that. Orange and blue for some horses. I, the, the Boise State did the same thing. Explain that. God's the Broncos. Boys the Broncos. That's the, why. Oh, sure. Sure, sure. I'm sure they're going to tell you that, too. No, they're going to come up with some elaborate reason as to why they're orange and blue as well. Hey, the Joey. Alligators aren't orange and blue. The Florida Gators. Like, <laughs> none of these have anything to do with orange and blue. That was just a nice thing to say. Someone someone brought that up one day, and here we are. Um, yeah, that, that's jo it. Joey, Joey, finish the Sally sells seashells down by the sea. Sure. <laughs> Sure. See, sure. <laughs> sure. 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 Uh, I don't know. You sound like you're from Hoboken or something. All right. We're moving on to the next one. And somebody asked what is what what constitutes as an F. Um, I'm gonna say these <laughs> these are kind of an F to me. I I don't like them. I, the parentheses is back, but now it's on the shirt, <laughs> it's on the jersey. Uh the navy helmet with the <laughs> I don't understand what's going on with the Broncos head. Um, imagine someone trying to this is this is trying to scape the goat the idea that you can take the broncos head decals and and put them this way like this is a thousand percent mandela affecting people into thinking that this is an appropriate way to isolate the broncos head so this is an f and and i'm trying to figure out who made these uh john uh I don't know. Benson. My eyes are tiny. John Benson. Uh, John, John Benson. I appreciate you. You did nothing wrong. This is not something I can look at on a, a frequent basis. Um, although I like what you did. I think you did a fantastic job doing it, but the alternating color blocks, um, it looks like peewee football and I'm you know, not about it. I do have to say John did not okay with this logo right here. I'm not a fan of this logo. <laughs> don't talk about the, really don't talk about the logo. Really Just rock. talk about like his Photoshop skills. <laughs> the Photoshop skills are cool. I like that. Um, I don't know what brand this helmet is though. What is this like the Zenith or whatever that is? That's that's number one. If this if the Broncos come out with their model athlete in the Zenith helmet, we are screwed. That's not good to start with. Let's get that out there. Um I don't like the blue ones. I think there needs to be more white incorporated in the jersey here. Uh, it's just too simple. Like, there, there's not a lot going on here. Uh, the white ones are cool. I don't mind the white ones. Yeah, that's kind of my take. I think this is a D. So I I, uh, this look is, if you go back and play, like, NCAA football 2014, or I think there was also, uh, it might have been, like, 2012 or so, like, in that era of the game. <clears throat> this uniform, where they had, like, the stripes here, and then there were some on the back, was all over college football. And it looked so bad. And it looked so dated so quick. And I just can't stand it on any uniform ever since. I really don't like the like horizontal striping up top. Uh, the pants, I don't mind. The shade of blue they're going with for the New Jersey looks weird to me. It's um, green. It has a green undertone. It's got like a like a teal slash sea moss. What? I'm not <laughs> colorblind here. Okay, I'm no, don't ever ask men to think about what the time. undertones of something is. So fuck you what guys. Are you, I, I think you're looking at the green background here and associating no, that with the blue. No, no. If you were to put it, if you were to color match the tones of that blue, and you would put it against a blue and like a pink toned blue, like a royal blue, like the the jersey itself is almost giving and even if i block it off you guys can't see what i'm doing but i'm using my hands to like block off just the green around it that doesn't help that just makes it look like it is like a sea hockey like it's trending in the wrong direction of blue sure. i agree on that that blue is very sea hockey which is a green color match if you were to put it on the color wheel i'll explain to you guys later we don't I have time to do this right now no yeah. it's not the guy a cow came in saying it's 8 p.m. and that's the background breed. Listen, I know what I'm saying. I know, I know what the hell I'm saying here. 
And I'm going to bring up a color wheel to teach you fools because apparently that you missed that class. And Zach doesn't care because he, he he burnt his retinas one day and never had to worry yeah. about it again. And he has to do grow animals to match his Okay, pants. why are you taking me down? I was... I was the only one here empathizing with your struggle, Brie, because I've been on the <laughs> wrong side of color debates many times in my life, or at least the minority opinion, and have had to defend myself. That's how I figured <laughs> out I was colorblind. I was like, man, I am wrong on a lot of these color disputes. And I'll, I have be, a lot I'll be the one to say it. I'm not saying it's green. I'm saying green tones. Oh my God. It's the, if you, if you match the blues, if you went on the color wheel and said blues on the spectrum, that's going to end up on the green side, not on the other side. All right. Listen, I'm a, I don't know. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not a fan. D. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you do? <laughs> I think, man, I don't know. Can we go back to the other ones? Really yeah. sorry. I want to see which one I okay. I'm bump I'm bumping this one up to a D minus, and this one's an F for me because of the, the logo. The logo is so rough, and then this blue I dislike more than the other one. This is the F, the other one's the D minus. Yeah, and we're not even. I mean, I won't say it. Okay, anyway, let's just keep going. <laughs> we got more to do. We got this is a long haul. We're 40 minutes in and we are we are committed to this. We have four we, more uniforms to judge. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Dal said I just checked my abacus. Bree has a point. I think an abacus is to do math. Don't quote me on that because I'm I'm kind of stupid. So it is. Well, That's a very old timey calculator. Thanks. I knew Zach would come through to, to confirm that. Moving on. Uh, this person said, you know what? I'm going to qualm your fears about what the throwback is going to look like. It's just going to be the throwback. And then these mountains with like a little bit of a longer sleeve out. Count me out. I don't like because you know what's going to happen is NFL players like their sleeves capped and then you you cap the sleeve and the mountain's gone. So one, I think that this is just historically wrong. I don't think that it makes sense logistically. Um, I like the way that it looks. Like I like I like looking at it and being like, okay, the colors are right. Um, they did a good job in mocking this up. Uh, again, these grades are not about the 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 way in which people did things. Although that logo from the last one was atrocious, it's scary, and I'll see it in my nightmares. It is akin to what my sleep paralysis demon is when I have like a fever. But um, I don't I don't like I don't like these. I don't think enough has been done to them. Uh, I think the the lettering is almost literally the same as it is now. I don't know if I'm just making stuff up. I think it is the lettering. Um, people keep saying that I'm on drugs. I cannot <laughs> believe it. <laughs> like, it's just been nonstop of breeze on acid, breeze eating an edible. Uh, I, <laughs> no, well, to be fair, Alex is saying he wish we did acid before this show. Um, uh, <sighs> okay. people, the, I, to defend Bree, she is, you know, fighting through, soldiering through some, uh, old shrimp that she ate so. and, apparent, and, and apparently colorblindness she's fighting through it she's trying her best she'll the work her way out old. The, other, the other side i didn't know the shrimp was old um <laughs> i i try not to do the show on anything other than uh caffeine and and pure my my wits uh and i haven't even had caffeine today. yeah wits all right that's good <laughs> I don't even know what this comment means. Okay. I think kids, I think that's the angle of the three. I don't know. I, I would say I am kind of dreading the understated mountains approach. I think if they just go with these triangle things, it could look a little, I don't know, clowny or like a, like oh. a superhero or something. Just like, I don't know the, the like up and down, like a court gest jester or something. I'm worried. I'm, I'm kind of worried about that. But th this is a little, this quells that some, you know, it doesn't look too court jestery. The white one with the blue sleeves, I don't know how I feel about it. It looks like they kind of got dipped in paint. It's a little weird. I think I ultimately land on the side that I'm opposed to it. And I would give, yeah, I just, uh, and it is lame that they kept the same number style. Um, these are not as bad. It, it, th these are middle of the road. They, they don't have the positive elements that I think some of the better ones have. 
and they aren't atrocious like the last two. I don't mind this one. I don't mind this one. I I, I think this is cool. I, I do like the – if you're going to go mountains, I want it to be simple. Don't give me the extravagant mountains. I don't want to see like – like a ski lift on the mountains. Um, I don't or think this like, is subtle. I think <laughs> I this don't is want to see it. Yeah. These are just shapes. These are just triangles. Like, yes, okay, I get the point here, but it is what it is. I think it's cool. I think it's fine. <clears throat> I think it's a fine addition. And we already know that somewhere on here, mountains are going to be on the jersey. So what we have to figure out is how do we want them on there? That, that's ultimately the goal. And – <clears throat> I don't want like detail of mountains. I think these are fine, fine oh. for it. I this think this is it's coming okay. from like Joey, who's like, explain it to me. Oh. Like I'm like, this is like putting the block blocks through the holes and being like, that's simple enough. This is this isn't subtle. This isn't subtle mountains whatsoever. It's very contrasted. It's very like block styling. This is very in your face to me. So it's strange that you are taking it as like subtlety. I just don't see them as mountains all the way. Like, I don't think you look at these jerseys. If, if you weren't from Denver and you didn't know mountains were going to be on the jerseys, I don't think you would associate these triangles with mountains immediately. Like, that's not, that's that's my point I'm trying to make. I, I think, think it's fine. It I think it's cool. I like the white ones. Um, again, every single time I see these blue ones, they're the worst ever. We need to stop it. I'm not a fan of the blues. We can't, we especially in this shade. This is not a good shade of blue to do with the blue pants. We can't do yeah, it. Yeah, those all blues only work with the navy. Yeah, it's it's One terrible. The navy. I, we, we're not a fan. <laughs> I like the white and orange, and then I also like the one all the way on the left over here. Um, I'm giving this a C plus. I'm gonna be right in line with Joey C plus. Uh, I am curious though, how would you guys? I don't want to, you know, get in the way of Bree's grade, but how would you guys rank the three styles of mountains we've seen so far? Can okay, you I'm giving this a C minus. That's a yeah, I'll, I'll grab them. This, um, this one has a C minus because it just like woof. But like, if you could go one, so I think a C minus is still too good, but I think a D plus sounds worse and I don't know how to average those out. So like if we could fall on a point scale somewhere in between there, that's what I would give these because 70%. I, I really, <laughs> I really, <laughs> I really hate the way that this, this sleeve looks. Um, and I think it, because it's not like, I get, it would be a subtle mountain nod, but if you were to, come at anybody and be like look at this and they'd be like why does it look like um that's my you know opinion. those blankets that have the shapes on them i just it doesn't sit right with me yeah. i don't like them so um out of all the mountains joey just Did quit the show um which is fine like his right, opinions were really starting to annoy me the graphic god would be the first mountain uh endeavor did you quit via rage or no i was like did your dial up the mountains with my mouse and then uh it took me back <laughs> face on accident okay i thought <laughs> dial-up internet crashed at your new place uh mountains ranking this would be one this would be two and then um i just lost this one this would be uh three i would I say agree. this is three uh and i think the graphic god from the first one um at, at, Again, I, I like the way that looks if we have to do mountains. Um, I feel like this gets a little too chargery on the cusp. So I would say in the order that they're presented, one, two, and three. How about you guys? Exact same. I think the best comp, like if you could take these mountains and put them on the kind of chargery ones, like replace the chargery mountains with these ones, I think that's the, the best we've seen. That isn't just the throwback. I like these ones the most. I like these ones the most right here. This the more I see all the yeah. other blues, the more that I would be okay with going towards the stark navy because you all are insane and don't understand color tones. But that's a discussion for another night. Um, I mean, how much green is involved in this one, by the way? None, actually. This one's less. <laughs> this one would almost have like a dot, like a like a brown undertone. Um, I'm just kidding. Uh, fuck you guys. Or maybe <laughs> I agree with you, Brie, but it's funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you do agree with me and you're colorblind. I got to get my eyes checked. I can't do this any longer. It's offensive. Now there's a lot going on with these. These are full mock-ups with what they would look like with different pants. Um, I think that we have an artist on this one uh, being Kyle Gifford. 
Um, unless, do we know who it is at the bottom there, Zach? Can you see? Last one is Kyle Gifford. Um, this one is Mamut Kodro. Mamut Kodro. Wonderful job here. Uh, I'm going to give you an A plus for effort. I love the way that this, like I am a chart girl. So I like the way that this is looking. I like the blues. I like the balance of colors. I like the helmet with the, and I know you guys are against the helmet with the white logo on it, but like, I like it. I don't hate it. We know that the Broncos will have three helmets. So this isn't, you know, going to be the final mock-up, but imagine yourself here putting the Navy in and then putting, uh, you know, maybe the throwback one as well. I like these um, a lot and I'm already feeling very, very positive about them. This is sans any sort of mountain or topography um, because I believe that this one was done prior to that. Although I do see a mountain range in the background now that I look at it. Mm. So there may be... There's a very faint, that mountain range you kind of see in the background very faintly is on the shoulder pads. You got to look yeah. really close, but it's very fa faintly. That's light. what I want. I want right. faint. I, I want, want silhouette. I want Guys. faint too, but, the, but you can't block off the white. Put it faint, like have that top one be all orange and have the mountains be a faint blue. You know, have the bottom ones be all navy and have the mountains be a faint white or or orange or whatever. The the white, like cutting it off right at the sleeves makes it look like they're wearing a wife beater or like, uh, I guess wife beater is a white tank top, but it look, makes them look like they're wearing a tank top. It's just a really weird look to me. It's a it's a. Uh, that is not a um, that kind of. Uh, it, it knocks it a lot for me. It really throws me off. I have an issue with this middle one, this middle row right here. I have an <laughs> issue. Looks very, very similar to uh, the Buffalo Bills to me. I think this is very, very similar. I think even the numbers are very Buffalo Bills like. Mm. Uh, this looks like Josh Allen right here, number 17. I see Josh Allen. That, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at Josh Allen in a Buffalo Bills uniform. The red is just the orange. <clears throat> I like the top. The top is cool. Um, I'm not a big fan of the blue. I think the orange is my favorite one here. I think so. I, I do have to give credit on the helmet, too. I think the, for whatever reason, does it feel like the lines are thicker around the Broncos logo? I, I feel like that mm -hmm. might make mm -hmm. it where the logo sticks out more if you just increase like you know like how uh the lines around the logo that that could definitely help and i feel like that's what's going on here on the top <clears throat> or across the helmets in general so i like the helmets a lot i don't i'm just not a big fan of the second or third one on here but uh, overall grade i'm giving it a b minus yeah i, I would give it what, what was the last one? We, I said a C plus. This will be a C minus for me. Uh, I, I'm going to give it a C, C plus B, B minus. I like this one. And I know I'm a little wishy-washy with my grades, but listen, nothing is 100% ever set in stone, except for Jamie Weisner's comment here. I wish the NFL should do a throwback week because so nice he had to say it twice. Appreciate you, Jamie, for uh, tuning in. And we're going to hit y'all off the top with one more uh, mock-up design. And I'm going to grab this one because I think that it is the truest representation of something that I would like to see done. And everyone's going to complain and say, but it's exactly like the other uniform without the parentheses and a little bit of the mountains touch. And I, to that, I say yes. And that's exactly why it works. It's an update. It's a redesign. It looks good. We're used to it. It's not a throwback. We don't have to worry about rechanging the colors and the Pantones and, and worrying about the, cause they'd have to repaint the stadium. They're not doing that, that stuff. They're not, Get out of here. This is what they're going to go with. Tim Contic with the um, the the modernized D logo on the hip. Uh, I like the callback there that you still get that. You get that uh, uh, Rocky Mountain sleeve motif, the blue pants that are interchangeable, and it's staying along the lines of what we all know and love, but with a modern twist. I Honestly, guys, this one to me is an A. Do I wish there was something that really stood out and really changed the way that this looks? Kinda. I do wish that 
there was something that was different that I could like really lean into here, but this is probably the most perfect iteration that I've seen thus far. I am. <clears throat> I respect your opinion, Brie, but at the same time, I disagree. I'm not a big fan. I want, if we're changing the uniforms, I want them to be better than the ones prior. This one to me is just the ones prior without the side stripe and mountains on the side, which I'm kind of like evening out. Like I don't want mountains on the stride side on the, on the shoulder pads. I don't like the south side stripe. So it's just kind of even, it feels like I'm just rerunning back That's the Broncos amazing. uniforms. I don't want to do that. If they're changing them, change them. Um, that that's what I want. So I'm going to give this one a C minus. Same. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, loved him. I think he does a lot of great uh, graphic work in Broncos country. I, I think this could be a fairly accurate prediction of what they end up looking like. I think the mountains are, you know, maybe my second favorite take on it. Um, they're more defined than the other ones, um, than like the, the just basic triangle ones. They don't look chargery. Um, so I like that aspect of it. I, I like how Joey framed it, like how you're, uh, uh, getting rid of the side stripes and adding the mountains. Um, for me, that's not a wash. That is a slight upgrade. Uh, but it would overall be disappointing. And it is weird to keep the parentheses style stripe on the top of the helmet. Um, so I think I'm going to overall give it a, a C right down the middle. If it was the other mock-up of the helmets where it has the, which I think is the direction they're going to go anyways with the orange and the blue down the middle or white, you know, ha what have you, would you feel better about it? Cause I think that would just send it home for me. Um, I don't know if that moves the needle for me in this case. Cause I do see that one kind of works with the modern logo because the mar mm -hmm. modern kind of has those sharp points but um yeah if they did a different number font if they if they went blocky numbers then we're talking more c plus b minus i do still like um i think i'd just ultimately be disappointed like fans have been clamoring for new uniforms for four or five years finally we heard word about it two three years ago it's been a multi-year process they've made a big deal about how long it's all taken and then to get these it'd be like the exact same thing and that that would kind of bum me out so I, it, it kind of caps the ceiling for me i think you gotta not change things if they're working if it isn't broke the broncos current uniforms are not broke by any means just updating it to update it just seems ridiculous to me um jair wanted to know are we getting new uniforms and new throwback um we we kind of um hypothesized that the broncos would lean on that uh would you call it the royal blue zach the royal blue throwbacks um in some propensity will be used i think as the throwback uniform i think that'll be the the new throwback if you will joey i cut you off just as you took a deep breath to say something go ahead no you're all good I, I think, you know, it would take these over the top. And someone said it in the comments, a different font. That, that's what would do it. If, if you change the font to make these different, this font, I'm so tired of. I won't even lie to you. I'm tired of it. Get rid of it. Um, we, we need different numbers on here. And I think that would do it. And then also the stripe on the helmet. If those two aspects change, I'd be more into it. The issue is we're just running it all back. We're running it all back. And Brie, you mentioned don't uh, don't fix that's not broken. The issue is we have a very like this is our it's not broken, but it's mid. We can upgrade. It's mid. Oh my god! I, I, I have a problem. I work with a bunch of children. The, 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 the uniforms they have now are mid. I think they're bad. I, I don't even think they're that great. The NFL. It's already more, like, I don't know. I'm not a fan. All right. Change it up. Whatever. I'm sorry that we have to update things so the iPad kids are like uh, get their new shiny year, thing to be entertained by. That every we can't year just does the Chiefs uniform get better? Every year does the Chiefs uniform get better because they won another Super Bowl in it, even though it's still those Ronald McDonald colors? I don't buy that. I don't These I, are the I, iOS I 2 uniforms. So I right. to get rid of them. Apparently, I have to click on this last one really quick with the 40-ish seconds left on the clock. Uh, we already graded that. Um, 
I don't know what the hell I'm looking at here, and I'm appalled that you would put it on. It looks like you cut it out of felt, and some kid made a Halloween. I thought you wanted costume. an all black jersey. Uh, that's not even black. black. That doesn't look black. It's black. All right. Well, yeah, I'll take an all black jersey if they want to roll out all black, all black fonts, all black accents, and give me a black jersey. Then I will absolutely rock it. I have one right now in my closet. It's PS2. I'm rapping for some reason. It's it's beautiful. I love it. It's the only one I ever want to wear. But this one looks like you tried to cut up felt and glue it on stuff so that you um, had a jersey to wear for a Halloween costume. That is all. I personally see green. Um, that's what I see. Here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm joking. I'm here to see green. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I hate these. These look like... <laughs> These look, you know what? I don't hate these because these are like the LTB editions. Like if you put, if you re replace this Let's Talk Brock, because this is our color palette right here, with the LTB logo, we might be talking. Ooh, we should uh, Photoshop that. Why didn't we? Why didn't we submit ours? So it just says Let's Talk Broncos on the chest plate because oh, that's a good idea. That's what it's all about. It, it is yeah. a good idea. Finally, someone agrees with me on this freaking show. Uh, all right. Any closing words? Any closing thoughts? Oh, we got to remind everybody watching uh, the Let's Talk Broncos draft party, April 25th at the Rock Bar and Grill. Be there. Be square. There's going to be some fun guests showing up. We're going to be talking, obviously, all about your Denver Broncos, but we're going to be live reacting for the first round, the first night of draft picks. Mario Vitanzi is going to be there. Uh, yeah, I just want to pitch it right now because I keep forgetting to update people. We'll have some fun little giveaways. Well, not little, but fun giveaways. I, it's like I'm talking to kids. Like, show up. We're going to have a party, and we'll hand out party favors. Uh, party hats not included. And we can't wait to see you there. Zach, updates for the website or anything else you want people let, uh, to know that's going on? Yeah, more stories coming out. Uh, position reviews, scouting profiles, tons of good stuff. Check it out over there. There's links below in the uh, description. Um, and yeah, there's, uh, uh, drink deals, food deals, all that good stuff at the rock, uh, to help support this fun draft event. So, uh, show up, uh, and it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. That it will be there. You have to be there. Matter of fact, if you're a fan of Let's Talk Broncos, be at the draft show, please. It would mean the world. It'd be fun. I'd love to meet you guys too. So yeah. Yeah. Please show up to the rock. Please show up. Uh, family, friends, welcome as well. Grab a plus one. Meet us there and uh, share some refreshments with us as we uh, watch the fireball crash into the Denver Broncos. Just kidding. It should be positive. We'll see you. Uh, we'll be back on Monday probably. What's today? Wednesday? I don't know. I'm ill. Don't feel well. I haven't slept. I'm so.